Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a singles reading. I was going to do it by elements, you know, earth, fire, water, and air, but then I changed my mind. So we're going to do it. We're going to do it single just because I feel like that's what I need to do. So anyway, this is going to be for Taurus, singles. What's coming in soon? What's coming in soon for this, these singles? For us, for Taurus, what's coming in? What do we got? We're going to get two of these. What do we got for Taurus? New love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Oh boy, now we're going to look at the bottom of the deck and see what's next. New love, Taurus. Oh, thank you, God. True love. This is the romance of a lifetime. So you got new love and true love. Thank the Lord. Apparently there's going to be some chemistry too. Anyhow, so Taurus, new love, true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. I think we're good. We should stop right there. Hmm. <laughs> okay, we'll get a little bit more information. Just a little. Okay, what else do you got for Taurus? We got a new true love coming in. Please, God, don't be fooling. Well, <clears throat> two of swords and queen of swords. So we got some sort of, we got a person here that can be hard to love. Okay. This person can be hard to love. This person is very forthright. She's very intelligent. She's wide awake and she's very powerful. She um, uses her, she's very authentic and she uses her words um, as her tool. You know, she can communicate very, very well. So we have this very communicative woman who <laughs> may be blocking her heart. So listen, if you are the male watching this and you are the male Taurus watching this, you may be dealing with a woman that, you know, is blocking her emotions because she's been hurt. The Queen of Swords has been hurt and that's why she is so protective of herself. If you are the Taurus woman watching this, you are taking on this energy. You're taking on this energy. It's like you, you're blocking love. You're, you're, you're blocking anybody from coming near you, right? It's like, no, you want it, but you're just like, you're ready to pounce. You're ready to, to uh, you know, hurt them should you need to. You know what I mean? It's just like, are you sure? I mean, you're just like, you're on your toes, Taurus, right? You're on your toes, and you're keeping everybody else on their toes, right? So I feel as this is blocking, blocking um, anybody, blocking people, right? Oh, jeez. Yeah. Unable to give, unable, lack of reciprocation. You may be dealing with an, another earth sign. If you were, or, or another, you, if, there's earth and air here. So far, we have earth and air. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. It feels like we have somebody here that has a big, a big offer. Somebody has a lot to offer. We have somebody here that has a lot to offer, and this person is very stable, very sincere, very mature. This person is a hard worker. This person, um, you know, is very grounded. This person is very down to earth. Then we have this other person who is <sighs> probably doesn't trust, doesn't trust, very fearful of getting hurt. You know, I will listen. You know, I, I, I want to talk, but make sure you're telling me the truth. You know, so if there's, if there's the lack of trust here. So I feel like you have somebody that wants to reciprocate or they want to give to you but you're there's not equal reciprocation here so there's probably a new love interest that could lead to something big but we have one person that this person is, is intimidated this person not, doesn't even dare to look really because they're afraid of this other person so there, there's fear there's fear definitely um, but this is seizing an opportunity for love oh boy Ooh, hmm. Justice, getting what you deserve, the truth. 
protecting. Like I said, she's been protecting herself. Absolutely. We have somebody here that's been in protection mode. This is holding on. Holding on to... Power. You know what I mean? This is holding on. And she's got the sword of power. Now, this king of wands, this is lack of focus, lack of concentration, no ambition, no drive. Giving up. We have somebody here that is... Has made a decision. This person has made a decision... To not reciprocate anymore. To not give to a situation. This is, this is uh, perseverance. Accepting a challenge. I feel as though we have this is this is defending and this is defending as well. This is a warrior. So this is defending and protecting. <laughs> this is seizing an opportunity for love, letting go of regrets. It's the end of stagnation. Somebody is interested. Somebody is very interested. They're interested in protecting you or something like that. Avoidance. Avoiding love. We got somebody here that is avoiding love because they're trying to protect themselves. Uh, yeah. Trying to protect themselves. Been wounded so badly. Holding on to that weapon. Holding on. Holding somebody back. Resisting change. Because they were in an unfair situation in the past. And they're afraid to go into it blindly. You know, look at the blindfold on both this person. We got somebody here that is afraid to open their eyes. Afraid to see. Afraid to take that blindfold off. Afraid to give. Afraid to give anything to this partnership. But it's like there's there's somebody here that has something solid to offer. But the past wounds have made this person heart that, so that they can't trust. And this person is scared. This person is, well, this is not really scared. This person is very much, maybe he's scared. Because, and this could be the same person. This person is intimidated. But this is looking down. This person is looking down at this person. There could be two people here. Hmm. This person may not, may want... It's like you have a choice between two people, Taurus. Probably an earth sign and a fire sign. This is not giving... This is not wanting somebody to release... This one's holding on. This one right here is holding on to some sort of dead end, injustice, unfair situation, guarding their heart when there's a solid, stable opportunity here. It's like this person comes out of nowhere. I don't know where that's coming from. Mm. This is getting unstuck. No longer resisting change. Seeing things through a new perspective. So it almost feels like you're going to get some sort of truth. From somebody that doesn't want you to release them. Could be dealing with a Pisces. <clears throat> These are both Pisces. I don't know. But this is the truth that is about to be revealed. Okay. So Taurus, you, it could be from anybody. You have all the signs here. You, something is going to be 
revealed. Something that was hidden. And it has to, it could have to do with legal issues. I know we talk, we're talking about singles and I was going for love, but, and I've been wanting to say this for a while during this reading. This may not have to do with just love. It may have to do with some sort of decision that is being made that is going to bring you something big. Look at how, look at that big, big. That's the Ace of Pentacles, this big abundance, this big, big abundant opportunity. So, Taurus, I, I feel like there's something hidden that you don't know that is about to be, it's almost like, it's just going to come out of nowhere. It's just going to come out of nowhere. Um, and I know that's hard to fathom, but I feel like there's some sort of loss here. There is some sort of loss that brings you a gain. You know what I mean? It's like you're going to gain something. It's going to help you to restore balance in your life. You may be blocking out anybody from coming in because you're in defense mode because of your past hurts. You're still holding on to anger and bitterness. <clears throat> Not reciprocating. But you have somebody here that is trying. It's like they're trying to communicate with you. They're trying to give you something. They're trying to work with you. And you're, you need to be open. You need to be open to that new perspective. You need to try to see the light in the situation. You know, come out of the darkness. I think whoever you're dealing with, they, they're not... I mean, they're being honest with you. They're being truthful to you. They're not lying to you. Whoever is coming, to, I think there's, there's this person is distrustful, doesn't trust, but this person that is coming is solid. This person is not lying. They're telling you the truth. So I feel like you have somebody that is, is trying to reciprocate, trying to get you to reciprocate, and you're so untrusting that, you know, you're, I think you need to give this person a chance. I think this person, you know, has been through a lot. I think this person has a lot of life experience. I think this person wants to help you. This person wants to protect you. This person has good intentions, whoever this person is. So if you don't trust them, my advice is to give them a chance. Give, you know, you have an, somebody is going to be coming towards you with an offer, okay? Somebody is going to be coming towards you with an offer, um... And, it, and it's love. It is love. It is. No, I don't know if that's reversed or not. It's a challenge. I'll say it's sideways. It's sideways in my hand. Love is a challenge. You have an opportunity for love. But you're going to have to unblock your heart and you're going to have to trust. I feel like this person is probably an earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This guy is upright. You know, he has a lot of earth in his chart. I feel like he's an earth sign. Could be, could be, you know, could be a Pisces, but I don't know. Um, could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Could be a Scorpio. Could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Could be a Libra. Could be anybody. The fact of the matter is, love is a challenge because there's distrust here. If you are the man watching this, the woman that you are dealing with doesn't trust because she has been hurt so badly. This woman is hard to love because she's in protection mode. When you have been hurt, that's what happens. You block. So anyway, there's an opportunity for love here. And this is seizing the opportunity. Who this person, whoever this person is, this person is not lying. They're not lying. They're telling you the truth. They have good intentions. So that's what I see. Sorry, I didn't zoom that in sooner, but it is what it is. That's it.